shortly. Today we are zooming in on the creation of mankind and would like to see what the scriptures has to say in regards the nature of men. So our topic as we begin tonight is the nature of men. That is what we would like to talk about. What is man? What are the components that God put together for us to say we have a living being? Now coming through on the WhatsApp, I'd like to acknowledge Miss Caroline Kashiri. And she's all the way in Malaysia, and she says, we are eagerly waiting for truth in 30. We thank you so much for waiting. Pastor Amen. Munya, Pastor Mazo, let's get into the program. First of all, maybe you want to say good afternoon, listeners. Yeah, good afternoon, list- uh, listeners, and uh, good afternoon, RK. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> RK, um, just to start, um, uh, let me just be naughty. Okay. From the beginning, uh, so that we also get to understand what we are going to to learn in, right. in, in, yeah, in this discussion. Let me say to Asa, okay, God yet sad, or to Asa the Nefesh, God yet sad, using the Afar and the Nishmat. Kimira uh, Nishuka explain it as well. Okay, if you, still, uh, if you still remember last week, um, Pastor Mazo had read a very important verse which comes from Genesis chapter 2, verse 7, mm-hmm. which says, uh, uh, God formed man out of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and yeah. man became a living soul. So the process here, which when he molded uh, the mud, when he molded the clay yeah. to form uh, this image called the, the human being, mm-hmm. right? He molded. He had yeah, to make sure, yeah, he had is called the Yatsar. That's, uh, that's forming or, or, or molding. So after forming this, uh, uh, this, uh, this, this thing, which is called the, the, the human body, the human body, uh, he breathed into his nostrils. Okay, so process yaku yaku breathe mu 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 manostu zemu. You know the breath of life is called the nishmat. The dust is called the afar. The dust which forms the the human body is called the afar, and the breath of life which was breathed into man's nostrils by God is called the nishmat. Mm-hmm. So the afar, which is the dust of the ground, plus the nishmat, they form what is called the nefesh. Okay, mm-hmm. afar mm-hmm. plus nishmat is called mm-hmm. nefesh. Mm-hmm. What is the nefesh? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let me break it down. <laughs> let me let me break <laughs> it down. Yes. Uh, yes. Let me break it down. Ambuya we nywa katere. Ambuya we nywa. Ambuya ambuya wangu ba eleven two eight eight chumba yonda close. Ambuya tari. Ewa rukuti erera. Rukuti. This body, you know that they are far in in Hebrew. Now, tika tika these are these terms. Jadi nzuri. I was just about to try to understand the nature of man at creation and the nature of man at death. So the human body. The dust of the ground. Mm-hmm. The breath of life, you know, mm-hmm. the nishmat. Okay? Mm-hmm. So, this body plus the breath of life, the nishmat, they form what is called the nefesh. This body plus the breath of life, the nishmat, they form what is called the nefesh. What is the nefesh? The nefesh is the person, the whole person, the living person, or a breathing person. You know, nefesh. As you are right now, mm-hmm. you are the nefesh because you still have the breath of life plus 
the afar or the body zvichiri zvakabatana there is a combination pazvino zviri two but kana zvinge zvakaparadzana we don't have the nefesh so why are we uh, uh, why are we explaining this uh, uh, this thought mm -hmm. nekuti vanhu vakawanda they think kuti the breath of life is the soul was bible pana tsaru kuti akuri verenga parungoti so pana pa old testament the soul is the nefesh which is the combination of the body plus the breath of life now the hebrew word for breath of life is neshma which comes from the root neshama meaning to 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 puff as in puffing smoke kuti puto uh, or a vital breath or divine inspiration or rather an animal maybe pastor madzo is going to assist me on the divine inspiration D divine inspiration uh tichitanangura neshama yaka femir kwana mwari we are simply saying this breath is has its origins in god yes it is solely of god no other creature or human being can qualify to be a provider those are shona even when munu kana agur what a strike if if you were to put that person on an oxygen tank they can still die because the oxygen is not the nishama the nishama is only of god it has got its origins in god it is the breath of god okay nishama nishama that is the breath of god yes so which means when you're trying to resuscitate someone the nishama is the one that what right the nishama the purpose of the nishama is to help this person to take up oxygen okay if the nishama is not there even if you put thousands and thousands of tanks of oxygen okay the person will not be resurrected but if if the nishama is there that is the power of god mm. that helps the person to take up oxygen and start breathing again mm. so it's the power of god is the breath of god which he puffed into uh, adam's nostrils and this that one is absent there is no there is no life so as i told you all okay from the uh -huh. beginning yeah. what we want our listeners to know out there is uh, the breath of life is not the soul mm. it's not the soul it's the breath of life is the nishama which comes from from god it's not the the soul so is the nefesh the soul is says how to baba you are a living so so in short to god on and you go to rest in peace you know the rest in peace i choose government alpha because these two things have been separated and to go saka rest in peace not to go you know but simply because you have heard something one is out of the other okay i'm going to rest in peace but also that ah but woman i'm going to do that is serious simply because there is a certain doctrine that you've heard from my career so why does it our career so you see the soul is this at uh, this body plus the breath yes. of life so sorry, so, pastors. So, sorry pastors sorry pastors mm. you yes. know you know what i'm just coming from uh glen forest right you, yes. you guys are saying that rest in peace is for someone who's alive who's alive. Who alive i need for people to hear that what exactly do you mean why because the body need the breath of life zvichiri zvakabatana zvakapana kuti ora chongo ti come and eat come and eat sadza sadza toti mvura ne hupu tikakungopa mvura chete toti jika sadza haunondi kuti vakuru hara vakomana katokupa hupu chete toti jika but kati akame dza uyati jika sadza uyati jika sadza tari batani dza sadza riya mvura ne hupu zvaita chinhu chinonzi sadza saka chinhu chinonzi so chinonzi living so chitora ne bible and the man became a living so chinonzi living so inyama nemweya zvichiri zvaka Shaka button as long as zango paradzana chete hatichagona kuti rest in peace kana to may so rest in peace iwe uri mpenyu kuda iso ndinonzi rest in peace ndio ngato zorora ndio ngato zorora ndoro da kuzorora sounding good all the time it is truth in 30 and of course we give you nothing but the truth in 30 minutes and always exciting and always exploring some of those mysteries that you may not have appreciated pastor munya pastor madzo guiding us and leading us stay tuned in as we continue to excavate and bring you nothing but the truth this is Truth in 30 on Star FM. Thank you so much for joining us. It is Truth in 30. We give you nothing but the truth. And uh, today we are talking about the nature of men. Learning and learning, we never stop. And remember, when we started this program, we talked about studying. You need to study. I'm going to go to as well. I'm going to go to chapter Wobble. Because sometimes, you know what? You don't really get to understand and appreciate what the Bible is saying. All right, I've got a few questions here, but we will continue. I'm going to allow you to continue your, your thought because you didn't finished. And does everyone have the same breath of life? Uh, someone coming through there, I think that's a very easy one. I could actually answer that. Uh, what's up, Arake? This is a good program. We are listening. Munya, the pastor, Avangu, Ava. She's Janje Kuda in water for Zaiwe. All right, let's, let's, let me, can we answer that? Does everyone have the same breath of life? Yeah, yeah, everyone has the same breath of life. Uh, maybe uh, let me allow me to read uh, Ecclesiastes chapter uh, three, yeah. uh, chapter three, twelve, verse eighteen to to twenty-one. Uh, simply because it's a question that is been asked on this program. Allow me to read it. Um, I said in my heart concerning the estate of the sons of men, that God might manifest them, and that they might see that themselves are are beasts. 
For that which befalleth the sons of men befalleth beasts, even one thing befalleth them, as the one died, so died the other. Yea, they have all one breath. Muno ne muka, they all have one breath. The nishmat. Saka mo nguruwe ne uku, jese ne muno, they have the same breath. The nishmat. Yeah. The nishmat. Yeah, the nishmat. Yes. Wow. Interesting. Interesting. The nishmat. Yes. All right. And 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 okay, maybe just to add to that, what we are saying, the nishmat here, can also be, be synonymous with ruach. Mm -hmm. These words mean wind, breath, uh, you know, something that is breathed into. And when you look at the Hebrew thought, uh, nishmat also is used to refer figuratively to three specific animals mm -hmm. by the Hebrews. That's number one, the chameleon, uh, the horned owl, and the water hen. These three animals, they use the same Hebrew word nishmat also. In Ikinem, we are In Ikinem, the word, why? Because they've got one characteristic, and that is their unmistakable breathing. The chameleon, the horn owl, the same thing, the water hen, the same thing. And my Hebrews, when they give a name to those three animals, they call them, they give them the same name, which means breath. So this breath is not anything special. It's just God's breath that he gave to any living creature. Mm. <laughs> so, so how, how then do we reconcile that with, with such faces which say, my spirit longs after thee, isn't it Munu is a combination of body, mind, and soul? Yeah. Okay. Uh, the issue of uh, body, mind, and soul is indeed one which confuses a lot of people. Mm. And and um, I think like Pastor Munya has done with, with Nishmat, we also need to do some, some, some word study, especially on the word spirit and soul. Uh, we will not deal now with breath of life since Pastor Munya has explained it. But uh, spirit and soul, so that we understand and appreciate uh, the, those verses, not um, you know, body, mind, and soul. What we've established so far from what Pastor Munya has said is that um, uh, dust plus breath of life equals living soul. And we have also done, um, we have already explained breath of life, and we have discovered that it is God's vital breath mm -hmm. wh which He gave to men. Now, um, looking at now living soul, we now want to, to look at living soul, the nefesh, in Hebrew, nefesh means life. A living creature, neck mutsipachaoche. It also means appetite. Uh, and when you look now, co coming directly to your question, okay, mm -hmm. in the Old Testament, about twenty times from Deuteronomy to Second Chronicles, uh, we, we 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 find uh, the, the 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 phrase, "My spirit longs for the Lord." Ichishandiswa, and parukushandiswa nefesh ichireva. My soul longs for the Lord. I miri iriega. In, even in English or in the Hebrew Bible, you know, Tungamir wana our rag, our rag does not have uh, desire, mm -hmm. anger, appetite. You know, you know, actually, our rag nefesh, our rag nefesh. Those who was statement they were wearing, Allah kaya guti, my soul longs for you. So mm -hmm. our rag nefesh, I have a desire. My my whole being has a desire for mm -hmm. the Lord. My whole being has an appetite for the Lord. My whole being longs to be with the Lord. And also, uh, that alone should show us that uh, my Hebrews, because the Hebrew language is a practical language, and when they speak, they speak mm -hmm. something that is to be tangible. Mm -hmm. And the depth of how much they love their Lord. Dupa wano shansa such statements like, my soul longs for the Lord. Our rag, nefesh. So nef it is always used that way. It does not refer to, to, to an animal. It is not referring to a person, that, that, that soul. In brief, when you use correctly soul in the Old Testament, we are referring to a, to, to, to a life, to a human being, an animal, a creature, or a desire of an appetite for the Lord. So the verse which uh, normally says, my soul longs for, is referring to the desire of a person mm -hmm. for the Lord, not some spirit inside you. No. And so many people have always mistaken that to mean, ah, so there is something inside a person that longs for God. When they use it, my Hebrew, achishan, my soul longs for the Lord, our rag in the flesh, they are simply saying, I have a desire, my whole yeah. being is a desire for the Lord. Sounding good all the time. If you'd like to be part of the program, do call us on 660-299-660-897 as well as come through, uh, share your thoughts, your views, your perceptions on our WhatsApp platform and that's 77 We do this every Sunday afternoon as we're just about to get into the evening. We come about and we bring nothing 
but the truth we call the program truth in 30 right some thoughts that are coming through on whatsapp i don't know you're going to take this one here or maybe uh, but uh let me see what what your reaction would be to this one okay. good afternoon gentlemen when you talk about how god created the humans it was just one race i think you know that trump recently said about creating us differently could you also enlighten us on how we became different and are we africans indeed cursed oh let, I, I, let, didn't, I didn't ask that question. Let, let me take that one. It's fine. Let me take that one. Let me take that one. I like the scramble for, for the response. Uh, yeah. Right. Uh, when you read R.K. Uh, Genesis, there is something very, very particular about Genesis when it records, especially the creation of human beings and animals. Yeah. Mm. Animals, all animals, we are told that God created them and all their kinds. And I eat fish, and I type it that my brim, tiger fish, my whale, my marindiaka creator. Any other animal, my birds, animals, he created them and all their yeah, kinds. Uh-huh. Stoku, uh, Gwenure, Voucher, 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 yeah. and all their kinds. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But listen to wh- wh- what he did with men. And God said, Let the land produce living creatures according to their kinds. This is Genesis mm-hmm. 1, verse 24. Livestock creatures that move along the ground and wild animals, each according to its kind. Yep. And it was so. God made the wild animals according to their kinds. Mm-hmm. The livestock. Uh, according to their kinds, and all the creatures that move along the ground according to their kinds, and God saw that it was good. Then God said, let us make men in our image, in uh-huh. our likeness, and let them rule over the fish of the sea, and the birds of the air, over the livestock, over the earth, and over all creatures that move along the ground. So God created men in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. Van with all their kinds. Otherwise, Adam Mutuku, over creator Arake Mutema, in all our kinds. Okay. All human beings, they come from one man. Listen to this. Acts chapter 17. I would like to know what happened. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody would like to know yeah. exactly what happened. Right. Acts chapter 17, verse 24. I'll, go, I'll start from verse 24. The God who made the world and everything in it is the Lord of heaven and earth and does not live in temples built by hands. And he is not saved by human hands as if he needed anything. Because he himself gives all men life and breath and everything else. From one man, he made every nation of men yes. that they should inhabit the whole earth. And he determined the times set for them and the exact places where they should live. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> it's in the Bible. It's in the Bible. That's what we do. We excavate and explore and, yeah. and bring it about. Please just read that again. Just, just <laughs> one more time for someone who still let didn't me, catch it. Let me start from verse 26. Yes. From one man, mm. he made every nation of men that they should inhabit the whole earth. Okay. And he determined the times set for them. Those who are not to Australia, there's 10 hours ahead. Mm-hmm. It's God who determined that. And the exact places where they should live. Those are guys from Africa, it's God who determined yeah. that. But we all came from one man. Yeah. So, so maybe the last bit of that question was also talking about kissed. And I think across the world or even the black people ourselves, Africans have a sense when we compare ourselves, mm-hmm. there's a sense of we are kissed. How, do you, how would you respond to that one? I believe uh, RK in our inferiority complex. Um, uh, for the past three weeks, we are dealing with uh, the theory of evolution versus the theory of creation. Yes. The theory of creation, you know, that God is love and uh, God can elevate everyone to his level. Hmm. But uh, the theory of evolution, it says uh, someone is superior than the other. No one knows that you have slave trade and the likes. It's just that when maybe because Africa was civilized. There is a certain type of civilization that came to, but do, do you know? Kuti mm. ukadotasa history chacha ancient civilization zvakato wanda zvakatangira kwa Africa the alphabet ato shansa nas yakatangira kwa Africa. Even Jesus Christ in top this Christ mukuru Jesus Christ the founder of the Christian religion. Paga zvaro akaponera kwa Africa. Moses the greatest leader in the Bible. He survived in Africa. He was born in Africa. So I don't see any reason, especially when it comes to Africa. I'm proud of African. Never, I'm I'm never black. So, 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 so you're saying if you're African, so you're yeah. saying if you're African, it's it's your mindset, it's your choice your mindset, to say. Yes. You are cursed, I'm cursed yes. but there is no one who is cursed. No. Yeah, because higher than the highest is God's idea for His children. One Thessalonians yeah. five twenty three. Someone comes to and says, "And the very God of peace sanctify you wholly." And I pray God, your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved, blameless unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. We are coming to that one. If this is a question, yeah. we are coming to that verse. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so should I skip this one? Yeah. yeah so you know the question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
no ara ke pa pa ne point ya 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 ni fadza ya ya tana shitora em eh ya nga shitora in the image of god ah ndazungu na kira sura ako maybe ya tana shinogo na ngesi sisi pa kataronzi he created them in the image of god pa kati let us like make men you know own image after our likeness the word which was used there the hebrew word is not you know kid mu tenu kid mu tenu kid mu tenu which means a shape yacho yakangofana ne amwari the model the resemblance is just like god no ndo chonoti muno akabatonza anokwansa ku act up pro creation takutanga kuwedzera marudzi muno akutanga ku i mean god akutanga kuita share some of his attributes with men his holiness with men is sharing his volitionality with men is sharing his truthfulness with men muno ane tumwe tuma resemblance kwa mwari but it's just that kuti vana havazvioni nekuzvida zvekusebera paduze namwari men was even dominion muno akabanza no better ano a ruler everything that is on planet earth no ndo wai mwari asika muno patakati he had sad men he formed men he molded men when he came to planet earth he came to redeem that which he molded yeah. god loves us that much and we don't have to look down upon ourselves what in dream african god loves you because he molded you in his own likeness that's why he had to come and die on calvary instead of tafire miti kana kufira muka he had to come and die for that thing which he created in his own image Truth is very good afternoon Yes, sir. How are you? Thank you so much for joining us. Would you like to make a contribution? Yes, we're most of the The part of the the breath of life, we can equate it like uh, you, you bought a brand new television. You don't know how it works because it's not plugged on the electricity. So once the electricity is plugged on the television, you can see the whole menu. You can see how it works. You can see how good the gadget is. Those are right. Mono paga si kona mo arika. All the wisdom, intelligence, the gas of Buddha, the package for that breath of life. I think I go is um Babuzaki. I go and say go to fresh air. I go and say go funga ziri boat. If that breath of life is there, if I go and say go to the moon, I can't see it. Like what they said, go oxygen. So this gentleman is also a relation to what it says. We are living so combination of the body and the and the spirit of the the, the, uh, the breath of life. Yeah, thank, thank, thank you very much. Yeah, that's powerful. Well, there's someone who's agreeing with truth in Teddy, and of course, that's what yeah, we that's do powerful. here. We bring nothing but the truth only. Do call us 6602996608897, and let's hear your views as well. Let's hear what you make out of what you come around in Kenya. You can out kuruz Kenya. You know, Bonzi, nature ye muni yaka mira say. This one is the first offering. I'm sure next week we continue yeah. again looking at the nature of men. I will take some uh, comments that are coming through on uh, on WhatsApp, but I've got a caller. Let me take the caller. Welcome to the program. It is truth in Teddy. Good afternoon. It's it's seventeen twenty-four to twenty-seven. Oh, it's seventeen. Yeah. Chapter seventeen, verse twenty-four, twenty-six. Ah, Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much. Ko hashtag truth in I saw the souls of those slain of the Holy Spirit crying for vengeance. Does that mean the soul is aware of what is happening on it? I I think Araki that one teachers or teachers or people who are coming back to talk about my voice and talk about souls like never my voice not talk about the voice of your brother I mean the voice of the blood of your brother what what something like that is crying before me just to attempt to move. Oh yes, thank you very much for coming through in waterfalls and he says I'm thankful for the word of today I'm proud and I'm African and you need to live in that space be proud because you're African. What is the human spirit that Paul is talking about? Is that something we want to answer? We move forward. Okay, yeah, that one Pastor Mads was coming to that. Okay. Okay. Uh that not we we want to read verses okay. that uh clarify what Pastor Mads was saying that point uh, out the areas Panotaurwa the Old Testament Bible Panotaur Parno equator the soul to this to uh, to the body um, to the fusion of the body and the and the and the breath of life. Now if we read uh, Ezekiel chapter eighteen verse four. So that's our so far Araki, what we have discovered is a living soul is the combination of the body plus the breath of life and it mm-hmm. now Ezekiel chapter 18 verse 4 ma vesa no one zoshandi skwa ano taurwa ni vamwe that's what we want we just want to to, to make sure that people also get to understand uh, that verse not to be old all souls are mine the word that was used there is nefesh mm. okay it was nefesh all souls are mine uh root ha nefa short nefesh it means all people are mine or all, all living beings are mine that mm. is what god is saying and the soul of the father 
the word which was used there in the soul of the father it's a, a kenefesh it means the soul of the father is mine it means the father himself mm. he is mine right and the soul of the son God is God is a possessive God. He's saying everyone who is alive is mine. Okay? And because of the soul that sinned is the soul that dies. The word that was used there again is La Nefesh. in short is the person who dies. I was talking about the breath of life. The breath of life has never been equated to the Nefesh, is the Nishmat. So when a person dies, the soul is gone. no, it's not the soul, but it's the nishmat which has gone back to God, other than the nefesh. <laughs> yeah. And and when you read X uh, X twenty seven thirty seven, <laughs> Araki, X twenty seven verse thirty seven, it says, and we were all in the ship, two hundred and sixty seven souls. Yeah. Before. <laughs> so if soul uh, would mean a spirit and not a physical being, I know, you know, how do you read? How, count, how count, do you count? Uh, do a hit count. So Paul and the other Chinonzi soul moon mupenyu a combination of, of the Nishmat and, 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 and the Afar. Okay. Of the body and the breath of life. And if you want to add also Numbers thirty one, verse nineteen, maybe for the benefit of our of yeah, our listeners. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Numbers thirty one, verse nineteen, you know whoever kills a person. Mm -hmm. And the parukshan squad with regard nefesh. Whoever kills a nefesh. The same our revenge on him. Number thirty one verse nineteen. So the nefesh can be killed. Yes. Number one. The <laughs> nefesh can be killed. Yeah. The, the breath of God. No. no the nefesh the living person can be killed. Mm -hmm. We say the nefesh has been killed. Because the there's a separation of the breath of life and the dust of the ground. The breath of life that you know the nishmat. It's not the nefesh. The soul is the is is no the nefesh. There could be no fact. That's his angle. So, nefesh souls, which means a soul means a living being. In I'm a soul, you are a soul, he is a soul, he is a soul, he is a soul. And our listeners who are listening out there, they are, they are souls. listening souls, mm. listening human beings. Don't manifest you. Don't manifest. Saka pae bargo za kupombo wa mungu oxygen bae bae. Chikishi nengi cha itika. So in here. Breath of life. Nishmat, no ya Buddha. A pasina living soul. It's not the nefesh, it's the breath of life. Tati nyama i nemwe ya we u penyu. Zino gazra chin chinon zimwe ya mu penyu in shona. Living soul. Nyama nemwe ya we u penyu. Zino gazra chinon zimwe ya mu penyu. Kana kuti munu mu penyu. Andrukon. Saka nyama i kaparadana nemwe ya we u penyu. A pasina chin chinon zimwe ya mu penyu. Zatu no chinon zimwe living soul. Mm. Saka chiru kupombero wapa. Wadwa kutu ya kupombero mwe ya we u penyu. Usinga veku munu futu. Unova kuna mwari. Mm. So the, yeah. let, let, let me go. I'll, I'll tell you what, it's going to take a bit of time to sink in. Trust yeah, me. It, it, it will take a bit of time, but I am sure it will sink in uh, as we seek to just understand and appreciate exactly the nature of men. Now, now time is not on our side. Let's, let's see how yeah. we can close our program today. Not before we, we, we have addressed the First Thessalonians 5.23. Okay. Um, Pastor Munyol finished it off, but uh, when you read in the Bible as well, the Old Testament has got about 20 verses. Mm -hmm. You know, Shandisa, together, soul, spirit, and body. Okay? From between Deuteronomy and, and Second Chronicles. Okay? But in the New Testament, you find that phrase only twice only twice mm. that's Matthew 10:28 Musachka uno uraya nyama bedzi asichai uno gona kuraya nyama nemwe ya be afraid of him who can destroy both the body and the soul okay that's Matthew 10:28 then first Thessalonians 5:23 dino tora nye Paul panoti i pray to god that your whole spirit and soul and body will be preserved blameless now listen to this the jewish mindset now uh viewed uh, the heart as the site of emotions so ukona kunyu old testament kunonzi my heart longs for the Lord. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not going to My spirit longs for the Lord. Emotions go interchangeably. And it's not the heart. You cannot spirit name Judah. She sends us read three spirit, soul, and body. Arukushan's heart is, is a figurative for for the emotions. Mm -hmm. Okay, the mind. With all my mind, the mind was the hub of all reasoning. Okay, mm -hmm. while the body stood for strength, physical strength. Henceforth, want to be totally devoted to God. A Jew who would expect all these three things to be involved the mind, the emotion, and physical strength. And the three combined yeah. were perceived <laughs> as the whole being. Hence, for emphasis' sake, we find the use of, this, of the three soul, spirit, and body. Mm -hmm. To simply mean the whole person must be involved. If you say you love God to a Jew, he says, let me see it by your emotions, your spirit. Let me see it by your physical involvement, your body. Let me see 
it by your mental uh, you know involvement that is the the, the soul in, in that st in that in that phrase so uh, when 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 now paul says i i i wish that your whole body, your soul, spirit, and body will be preserved blameless. What he's simply saying is, I wish that your physical strength, yes. your emotions, your, 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 your mind, your mental capacity may be preserved pure. Because if your emotions are affected negatively, you're no longer preserved for, for, for eternal life. If, if your mind, your mental thoughts are affected negatively you're also disqualified from uh you know eternal life if your body is affected because paul says yes. the body is the temple of the holy spirit so mm. paul is saying please let these three you know uh, domains let these three domains be kept pure your emotions your mental and your physical thank you so much for joining us the program is truth in 30 exciting interesting intriguing fascinating but very factual we call it truth in 30 we give you nothing but the truth pastor Munya, pastor mazo thank you very much anybody wants to get in touch with you what are the numbers pastor mazo 0772 918 and our facebook page as well as truth in 30 international uh do like it and follow as well because we keep our stories there as well we want to meet with you and have conversation with you right there pastor Munya. 0715 020 396